Hi friends, Ron with Lakeshore. Today we're looking up to the sky and asking, what do you see in clouds? When the sky is full of clouds, it's pretty cool to watch because these clouds can do all different kinds of things. They can move fast, they might be slow. Sometimes when you're looking at them, it looks like they're not even moving at all. I mean, it's amazing to me how tiny droplets of water and ice crystals can be in so many different shapes. And there are different types of clouds too. Here are a few. These are cirrus clouds and they're kind of light and thin and delicate. If you take all these clouds in at once, it kind of looks like the wrinkles of an elephant skin. These are cumulonimbus. These are taller and darker and denser clouds, and they're usually associated with thunderstorms. These kind of look like whipped cream put on the top of hot cocoa. And these are stratocumulus. Now, stratocumulus are more patchy and clumpy, and they are the most common clouds on Earth, so you will probably see some of these. These kind of look like tire tracks in the snow. So now let's turn our attention to the sky to see what clouds you see. You're going to need a few things to get started. So you're going to want to get some paper or a notebook pad and some writing utensils and drawing utensils like crayons, markers, pencils. And uh, you're going to need to have a place to look at the clouds, whether it's inside or outside. If you're going to be outside, you might need a clipboard or some sort of a hardcover book so you can have a place to write and draw. Okay, so let's get started. First, you want to check for clouds, okay? Look outside, make sure there are clouds in the sky. Some days have less clouds than others, so make sure it's a good cloud day for your activity. Next, go to your cloud watching spot and make it comfortable. Grown-ups, help set this up. If you're inside looking out a window, then get a comfy chair or a pillow. If you're going outside and you have the, the space for it, then lay back and set yourself up where you can lay down and get a clear view of the sky. Next. When you start drawing your clouds, just look at what they look like. I mean, look at their shapes. You know, are they flat? Are they thick? Are they round? Are they curvy? Are they wavy? Draw what the shapes are. And then look a little deeper. What did it kind of look like? Like, for example, let's look at these clouds. And I'll ask you, what do you see? Do you see a bunny? How about a dragon? Is there a waterfall? Grown-ups, if you're spending this time with your kids, ask them questions. Ask them, what do they see? How does it make them feel? And then you can share what the clouds look like to you as well. Next, share your clouds. Share the drawings you have and all the discoveries of the clouds and what they look like to you. Why not put all your cloud drawings together and make it a book so you can tell the story of your clouds? Here are some additional ideas you can use to share your clouds. You can have a cloud chart. Every day you draw out the clouds and you describe the weather. Is there a connection between the clouds and the weather? What is it? Do you see any patterns? You can also have cotton ball clouds where you look at your clouds and you make shapes of those clouds with cotton balls. Grown-ups, you can help label these. And you can have a cloud journal where every page has a drawing in the cloud you saw with specific things you're going to describe, like the shape or what they look like or how they made you feel. Clouds, clouds in the sky, clouds flying up so high, clouds all white and fluffy, a clouds can be what I want them to be. I see smoke. Crazy clouds. I see a spaceship. Crazy clouds. I see a whale. Crazy clouds. I see a unicorn. Crazy clouds. And when it turns dark on this, I'll bet I'll get called inside so I don't get wet. <laughs> Crazy clouds. Yeah. Crazy clouds. Crazy clouds. Crazy clouds. Have fun drawing, sharing, and spending time with clouds. Keep watching our Learning at Home videos, plus visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.